popular host of The Daily Show, Trevor Noah, kicked off 2021 in a big way. About four months after selling his starter Bel Air mansion, a $21 million plus home, he decided to upgrade in the same neighborhood. This South African born comedian dropped almost $30 million on a new Bel Air mega mansion, this one even more modern looking and extravagant than the first. Aside from this spot, Trevor continues to own a primary home based in New York City as well, and today we're gonna check out the luxury properties that he calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Trevor Noah is a South African comedian, TV host, producer, writer, political commentator, and actor who is best known as the host of The Daily Show, an American news program on Comedy Central with a twist. Trevor started off as a comedian, host, and actor in South Africa back in 2002 before coming over to Hollywood and had several hosting roles with the South African Broadcasting Corporation as well. After his stand up comedy career began to get worldwide attention, he started to appear on American late night talk shows and English panel shows, becoming the senior international correspondent for The Daily Show in 2014. Only a year later, Trevor succeeded longtime host Jon Stewart and is set to hold this position until 2022. Over the last while in showbiz, Trevor has received a handful of awards like a primetime Emmy and even being named one of the 35 most powerful people in New York media. With his success that only keeps growing, the comedian Canadian has amassed an estimated net worth of at least $40 million. You know that Trevor had to buy some property to show for it, and his starter home in Bel Air just wasn't good enough apparently. His brand new contemporary mansion is only about a mile apart from his former one, but it's even more insane and I'll be showing you guys shortly. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. You guys requested this one, so without further ado, we're checking Checking out where The Daily Show host Trevor Noah calls home, including three of his lavish properties, past and present. As you know, here we talk about celebrity houses, but have you ever wondered about Steve Will Do It's extravagant car purchases or about Lil Uzi Vert's diamond implant? We recently started a brand new channel, Famous Fashion, where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion and purchases. Join us and be sure to subscribe. We'll link you one of our latest videos. I'm gonna tell you everything we know about it and why on earth earth you would want to spend so much on something so seemingly strange. Wouldn't a diamond in the forehead feel weird? Who knows? As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. September 2020, less than two years after Trevor bought it for $20.5 million, records show that Trevor sold his palatial home in Bel Air for $21.7 million. The mansion was never listed on the open market and the all cash buyer's identity was also kept under wraps. This was Trevor's starter home, but I feel like it couldn't even be classified as such. Located in the upper area of the hillside neighborhood of Bel Air on a quiet pocket of the street, his former abode was newly built in 2018 in a super contemporary and narrow style. This mega mansion boasts over 10,000 square feet of space with five beds and eight baths in total throughout. The home was super boxy from the outside and full of glass walls and windows offering panoramic views of LA. Perched on 1.3 acres of land, Trevor could see everything from the surrounding neighborhood to the downtown skyline and even to the ocean on a clear day. The grounds surrounding the home had a sprawling grassy lawn and a large 62 foot infinity pool. The glassy home had all the modern amenities you could think of inside, even rooms like a full bar and wine cellar with a small aquarium by the looks of it, and elsewhere there was a 500 gallon saltwater aquarium. Other highlights included walls of Fleetwood doors that disappear for an indoor outdoor vibe, a home movie theater, a cigar room, and top of the line home automation system. The mansion had family rooms with fireplaces and dining rooms that opened right up to the outdoors, as well as a gourmet double island kitchen with handful of designer appliances. Trevor had quite the master suite at this pad as well. Spanning 2,200 square feet, his bedroom was bigger than many average family homes and had luxury features like two marble covered bathrooms, two showroom closets, and a spacious private patio or lounge with amazing views of the city. I mean, when you got all this at your disposal, why get rid of it so soon? Well, you may think Trevor's losing out, but not when you see his upgrade. As if that mansion wasn't modern enough, Trevor decided to purchase his current Bel Air estate only about a mile 
away from that one we just checked out. And it's even more aggressively contemporary. Just about four months after he sold his starter mega mansion, Trevor kicked off 2021 by purchasing an even larger home for a whopping 27.5 million, only moving down the street. His real estate upgrade is nestled in the hills of Bel Air, overlooking the upscale country club, and the right angled home has been dubbed an iconic architectural statement. The mansion was completed in 2014 and designed by Harvard trained architect Mark Rios as a personal residence for himself and his partner. The 11,000 square foot home was originally priced at $36 million, but it seems Trevor scored himself somewhat of a deal. The hillside mansion sits on nearly an acre of land and really embraces the LA trend of indoor outdoor living. Inside there are 6 beds, 9.5 baths, and a ton of floor to ceiling glass doors and windows which let you gaze out across the city into the ocean. The home is hidden behind a wall of bamboo and inspired by the Japanese design of simplicity and soothing aesthetics. It's fitted with materials like stone, wood, bronze, and glass throughout, and there are large common spaces like a sun-filled living room and grand-scale dining room to enjoy. Trevor's minimalistic kitchen boasts oak cabinets, and there's also a Japanese-style spa with views over the Santa Monica Mountains. On the lowest level of his home, each room has a full wall of retractable windows, and the main level shows off most of the public spaces, including more than one family room, some with TVs, while others remain more formal. This staircase made of imported German wood leads to the private upper floor where there are four ensuite guest bedrooms and Trevor's new master suite with dual stone floored baths and two dressing rooms to match. The home also boasts other amenities like a home office, a library, a gym, a wine cellar, a full-time security office, and of course, an elevator. Trevor's modern mansion also has a unique penthouse level dedicated to a top the line home theater, where walls disappear by simply pressing a button to an impressive rooftop deck with bar and a lounge. The property surrounding the home is just as breathtaking as all of those features we just looked at, including the infinity pool perched over the basement level rooms. Elsewhere, there is a small cabana with wet bar, barbecue station, and a rooftop lounge. While Trevor's Bel Air homes are insane, we seem to forget that he's still spends the majority of his time on the East Coast. After taking the role on The Daily Show, his hard work paid off and the comedian was able to purchase his $10 million penthouse apartment in the same building he was formerly renting a place. The duplex is located in the Manhattan neighborhood of Hell's Kitchen, super close to where he films The Daily Show. Trevor bought this gorgeous residence back in 2017 and it's still the one he currently lives at, even spending the majority of the pandemic year and quarantine at this Manhattan property. His New York home has three beds, to ensuite baths and 3,600 square feet of space throughout, as well as an additional 930 square foot wraparound terrace for amazing views of Manhattan. And he does take up the 17th floor and 18th floor, so I bet those are some amazing views. There are high ceilings, a sleek and modern design, and as you might have guessed, two levels. The second story of Noah's apartment is entirely devoted to Trevor's private and spacious master suite. His bedroom boasts 14 foot ceilings and large arched windows, as well as a large ensuite with glass enclosed shower stall. Trevor's apartment has a bright aesthetic with windows all over, and you can even catch a glimpse of the Empire State Building or the Hudson River from the amazing views. So now we've checked out three of the Daily Show host and comedian Trevor Noah's homes, and were they what you expected from him? I think we can all agree that the man loves his super contemporary minimalistic design and there's even hints of that in his New York City home. After looking at his two Bel Air mansions in his New York spot, which was your fave? Honestly, his current Bel Air home and the one he sold last year look so alike for me so it's hard to choose. Be sure to tell me your thoughts or rate Trevor's home in the comments down below. I'd also love it if you guys subscribe to my personal channel and my last video there was pretty exciting. I don't think you want to miss it. We'll roll a clip to that video so you guys can go ahead and subscribe. I'm super excited excited to announce that I am engaged. So I figured that I would tell you guys all about the proposal, just tell you a bit about me and Michael's story and the ring. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tours you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.